Hi, welcome to Polyphonic Press. I'm Jeremy Boyd, and today I'm going to be talking about the time that Elvis Costello was banned from Saturday Night Live. Here we go. On December 17, 1977, Elvis Costello gave a performance on Saturday Night Live and was subsequently banned for 12 years. The Sex Pistols were initially supposed to perform, but since they couldn't uh, make the show, Elvis Costello, who was touring uh, the U.S. at the time, was asked to fill their spot. Elvis Costello's record company urged him to perform this song, Less Than Zero, which was from his first album, My Aim Is True, and without putting mu up much of a fuss, Elvis Costello agreed. When Elvis Costello and the attractions were set to perform, they were introduced by host Mescal Spillman, who actually didn't have any show business experience at the time. She actually won a contest uh, run by a Saturday Night Live called Anyone Can Host the Show, where average people would get to host an episode of Saturday Night Live. And coincidentally, this happened to be the uh, episode where that uh, contest winner got to host the show. The band played a few bars of Less Than Zero when Elvis Costello stopped the music and announced that there was no reason for him to play this song. And he counted off the band and began to play Radio Radio, which was then unreleased. Elvis Costello was apparently inspired by the Jimi Hendrix Experience, who pulled a similar stunt about eight years earlier on the BBC in 1969. Sort of uh, an act of rebellion and uh, Radio Radio is kind of against uh, the media and sort of the way that, that news stories are portrayed. And so they he really wanted to take the opportunity to protest and um, pretty much got the idea from Jimi Hendrix. Lorne Michaels was furious, mostly because of the time that the band was taking up from stopping one song and going into another. So unfortunately, he banned uh, Elvis Costello from ever performing on Saturday Night Live again. And there were even reports uh, from people there who, where Lorne Michaels was actually giving the finger to Elvis Costello throughout his entire performance. And if you look at the video, he's actually kind of leering over uh, toward off the stage. So I'm wondering if he's actually looking at Lorne Michaels and giving him the, the stink eye when he's uh, give, uh, sort of uh, uh, giving the, him the finger the whole time he's performing. Fortunately, Elvis Costello and Lorne Michaels reconciled and he was invited back in 1989 and he performed his hit song, Veronica. Sort of poking fun at the incident, in 1998, Elvis Costello appeared with Beastie Boys, and Beastie Boys started off with their song Sabotage before Elvis, Elvis Costello interrupted and they launched into a raucous version of Radio Radio. At the time, the incident was pretty controversial, but looking back, it seems pretty tame now. Uh, Elvis Costello was actually the first person to be banned from Saturday Night Live, but certainly not the last, and looking back over the years, the, the incident was really not that big of a deal, considering uh, the, the incident where Sinead O'Connor ripped up the picture of the Pope. So that's what happened this week in 1977. Uh, have you heard about this? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, be sure to subscribe so you know when I post new videos. Uh, you can check us out on Twitter and Facebook. Uh, you can help us out on Patreon. Uh, get the uh, videos a, a couple hours before they go on to YouTube. And uh, there's some cool perks there, like uh, you can pick out a classic album for me to review, or we can get your name up on our website if you have an art project or something like that. And uh, thank you by name in the description, all those uh, pretty cool perks. Uh, and uh, check out the website polyphonicpress.net. All those links are in the description. And uh, that's about it. I'm Jeremy Boyd. Take it easy.